Hey, ho, it's Sooty and Ho. Everybody say hello. There's Sooty and Sweet and the Corsu. Little cousin Champ. They'll be fun galore with the terrible horn. Just you wait and see. It's Sooty and Company. Sooty and Company. Little soldier, it's all better now. I've put a bandage on it. It hurts. Oh, come on, Sweep. Sweep, I'm sure it hurts. Look, it can't be that bad, Sweep. I know it was sore when you first did it, but that was ages ago. Come along now. Come along. I've given you a nice bandage and I've kissed it better, so now you've got to be a brave little doggy. Oh, come on now, Sweep. Stop crying. Think of Matthew. You never see him crying, do you? Oh, I'm such a useless, weak person. <laughs> oh, hello. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It's another thing that happens very often. You know, bursting into tears like that. But sometimes things... They just get on top of you. Do you know what I mean? And it's myself that I blame. I get so angry because I'm such a weak, useless person. There's no point in you contradicting me. Oh, you're not. No, but the thing is, it's Sooty and Sweep and Sue and Little Cousin Scampy. They got me around their little finger. They manipulate me. Many people think that it's the other way around, that I manipulate them, but it's, it's not true. And this is the key to why I'm such a useless salesman. I am so weak. Anyway, from now on, Things are going to change. I'm not going to buy things. I'm going to sell, sell, sell. Hello, Matthew. Do you want to buy a second-hand torch with no battery and a dodgy bulb? How much? 50p. Well... Oh, go on, Matthew. Oh, go on. All right, you talk me into it. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, our little soldier is feeling a little bit brighter, I see. Where have I been? I just went to sell a piece of junk to Matthew. It's something I often do to amuse myself when I get bored. Do you know, that man is so weak, I think I could sell him absolutely anything. You bet I can't sell him that. Or that. Or that. Well, uh, pass them up here, come on. I will have great pleasure in proving you wrong. I am going to sell, not to buy. I am born to sell, not to buy. I will not buy. I will sell, sell, sell. Hello there, Matthew. Uh, 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 now, don't you try that, Sue. Try what? What well, lolling me into a false sense of security, being all dead pleasant. And then when I'm at my weakest, when I'm at my lowest ebb, zap, pow, you strike and sell me something useless like this. And if you feel like that about it, I'll buy it back from you. Here's what? your 50p back. What? You, you're going to buy it off me? Yes. Well, you mean you're, you're going to buy it, not, not sell me anything? You're well, going to buy it? Absolutely. Look, look. You have the money. Yes. I'll have the torch and consider it sold. I've done it. I've broken the spell. Hang on a minute. I've sold something to somebody! Yes! I've done it. I am a salesman after all. I have sold something. So... Sue, you will never know how much this means to me. You will never know how grateful I am. Is there anything I can do, anything at all, just to repay your kindness? Well, um, I was rather wondering if you'd be interested in looking over these items that I've got for sale. Yes, but of course, of course. Well, as you can see, there's a partly eaten stick of rock. Partly eaten? Yes. And obviously the fact that someone's been eating it proves that it must be tasty. Therefore, that does put the price up a bit, I'm afraid. Well, did you... Yes, that seems reasonable. Uh, and then there's this catapult, which, if for any reason you don't like the rock, you can use to fire it into next door's backyard. Excellent. Yes, and Excellent. then there's this. What? The jewel in the crown of this collection, so to speak. Oh, Sue, that is fantastic. Hmm. What is it? It's a puzzle. You see, if you get the catapult confiscated because you fired the half-eaten rock into next door's yard, then you can spend the rest of the day puzzling out what this used to be. Oh. This is fantastic. Mm. How much? 
Uh, well, shall we call it two pounds? Sure, yeah, sure. That's a bargain. There you are. <laughs> you, oh, but for an extra 50p, you yes. can buy the torch back. So, you can do the puzzle in the dark as well. But, but, but hang on a minute, Sue. Just a minute. Uh, the torch doesn't work. Oh, Does it? Don't be silly, Matthew. If it did work, you wouldn't be doing the puzzle in the dark, would you? Honestly. <laughs> Of course. Silly me. There's a two pounds. Thank There's you. a fifty pence. Thank Thanks, you. Sue. Yes, yes, yes. No. It seems that I'm a sitting duck when it comes to people selling things to me. Oh, and here's another sitting duck. Derek the duck, actually. And Sweep and Scampy, a puzzle that is strange behaviour. What's got into you, Derek? says Sweep. But it's not a question of what's got into him. It's a question of what's got under him. <laughs> Look at that. It's Sooty pretending to be an underwater diver. Do it again. Do it again, says Sweet. So Sooty sinks once again beneath the waves of the mighty ocean. And just as he does, Sue walks in. So who said I wouldn't be able to sell that rubbish to Matthew? <laughs> Look at this, two pounds fifty. It was like taking sweeties from a baby. That man is so weak. I reckon even you two could sell things to him. <laughs> oh, bless their little cotton socks. They're such simple souls. Oh, yes, a bit like you, actually, Derek. Except that, oh, you're more peaceful, aren't you? What a nice, calm life you must lead, never upsetting a soul. <laughs> Sooty's certainly given Sue something to think about. Mind you, Sue's given Sweep and Scampy something to think about. Remember she told them that she thought that they would be able to sell things to me? Well, here they are, looking for something to sell me. You know, every time I open my big mouth, I put my foot in it. Or to be more accurate, I end up buying someone's rubbish. Well, I've decided it won't happen again, and to make sure, I've taken precautions. And it's a good job, too, because here is trouble. Sweet and scampy. No doubt trying to sell something to me. Hello, Matthew, says Sweep. Hello, Sweep. What can I do for you? <laughs> we were wondering if you would like to buy this telephone, says Sweep. What? This phone? This broken phone? Yes, says Sweep. You could glue it together and pretend it's real. Then you could talk into it as if someone were ringing you up. And people would think you were dead important because you've got a mobile phone. Well, that's all very interesting, but even if I wanted to buy it, Sweep, as you can see, I've taped my mouth up so I can't speak, can I? Would people really think you had a mobile phone? says Scampy. Of course they would, says Sweep. I mean, after all, it is a phone and it is mobile. And would people think that I was important if I had a mobile phone? Well, I should think so, says Sweet. Especially if you use it in places like supermarkets and restaurants. Scampy thinks about this for a moment and then says, In that case, I'd like to buy the phone. Oh, yes, but hang on a minute, says Sweet. If it makes people look important, maybe I should buy it myself. Yes, but I said I wanted to buy it first, says Scampy. Ah, but I spotted it first in the lot, says Sweet. But that's because you pushed me out of the way, says Scampy. Nonsense, says Sweet. And they start to fight. Well, how do you like that? It works. Don't forget your phone, boys. See, there's a lot to be said for being plastered. I didn't buy the telephone. All that remains is to take the plaster off. Excuse me. Hey, hey, hey.
I nearly ripped my lips off. Yes, but look on the bright side, Matthew. What? You need never put lipstick on ever again. <laughs> Very funny, Sue. Well, don't worry, because it won't ever happen again. In fact, that is it now. Never again. I will never buy anything from anyone ever again. Hmm? What? Will I buy this box of paper clips? <laughs> box of paper clips? Are you deaf for something? Look, I just said I will never buy anything from anyone ever again. Look, I've already bought a load of junk off Sue. Look at this. And rock, and I don't know what on earth that is. And if I hadn't been wearing that thing, I would have bought a load of junk off Sweep and Scampi as well. It's only the plaster which... Oh, Sooty, you're crying. So Sooty, don't cry, please, please. What's the, what's the matter? You're a dreadful salesman. No, no, no. You're not a dreadful salesman. No, please. It's me that's a dreadful salesman. You're a great salesman. You can't even sell a box of paper clips. What are these paper clips? Yes, yes, you can. You can't. Sooty, you can. No, 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 please don't cry again. Oh, oh these paper clips. These paper clips. Oh, why didn't you say so? Uh, I've been looking for a box of paper clips like this for absolutely ages. These ones. How, how much are they? A pound? Oh, that's a bargain. Don't cry. Please don't cry. The pound. That, fantastic. Well, there's the pound. Wow, what a salesman. Wow, what a worry. <laughs> what? Oh, see you later, Matthew. Why, where are you going? Well, we're just popping down to the sweet shop. Listen, try not to buy too many things whilst we're out, will you? OK, Sue. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh. See what I mean? I am so weak. Anyway, things are definitely going to change now because I'm going to become a salesman. I'm going to become a great salesman. I'm going to become the best salesman in the world. I can see it now. Matthew, the mega salesman! Excuse me. Ah! Oh, who are you? I couldn't help overhearing you. Mind you, you were screaming at the top of your lungs and seeing as I'm standing only three feet away, it's hardly surprising, is it? Who are you? Well, my name is unimportant. Gerald Unimportant. But what is important is that you, my friend, are a man with a problem. Am I? Well, of course you are. But leaving that to one side, you want to be a great salesman, but you've got no one to teach you, have you? That's true. Well, not until now, that is. My card. Here, get behind the counter. Refrigerator sales executive. Well, so what? The bit at the bottom. Head office, Alaska. <gasps> Alaska! Exactly. You mean...? Yes. Sell fridges to Eskimos. How's business? Perishing cold. Look, I didn't write this, I just have to say it. But let's get back to the case in hand. What's that? That's the case in hand. Or rather, it was the case in hand before I put it over there. Now it's the case over there. Whereas previously, it was the case in hand. But this is the point. What? This is the point. What, what's the point? This is the point. Oh. But anyway, leaving that to one side and leaving that to one side and putting that over there and putting that there. And I'll tell you something, you could do something really nice with this place. If you had a nice central display round about here, and this would have to move up a bit, excuse and I'd get me, rid of the sheet. You were telling me about selling. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's no big deal. Selling's very easy. It's all a matter of approach. Let me demonstrate. Buy this. No. Buy this, or I'll smack you over the head with it. I'll take it. Yeah, you see? Now, here's another approach. You see, that was a completely different approach. Now, here's another one. Would you like to buy this umbrella off me? Not really. Give me one good reason. It's too small. Ah, ah, ah. You ever heard of a little shower? As in, you know, oh, don't worry, it'll only be a little shower. Yes. Well, it's a bit ideal for that. How much? Three quid. I'll take it. Done. Yeah. Oh, Sooty, thank goodness you're here. I'm glad to see you. <laughs> Believe me, so am I. Listen, this man is amazing. He can sell anything to anybody. Oh, please, 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 you're making me blush. <laughs> Too many compliments, eh? No, you haven't done your trousers up properly at the front. Well, I'm sorry. You know, it's uncanny seeing you standing there looking the way you do. And do you know why? No, 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 don't bother to answer. I'm not having anybody whisper in me here, however much they pay me. Now, look at this. This is the latest production line I've just got involved in. Yeah. What? Hey, look, look at this! Look, lots and lots of sooty puppets! What? What's a puppet? Yeah, and who is sooty? The man's completely deranged. These aren't puppets. Well, what are they, then? This is the Miracle Mitten with a Million Uses, the new multi-purpose domestic accessory. Mitten with a million uses? What do you mean? Stand back, let me demonstrate. Oh. Now, here are, you see, you've got an ideal golf club cover here. Look at that. There's your golf club, there's your cover. Ideal. Or you can use them to polish up the brass like that. If that was brass, you could polish it like that. 
or they make a very charming coffee filter. The coffee gets a bit woolly, but each to own, you know. Or you can also have a lovely ideal pair of oven gloves. Look at that, very efficient, very effective. Everybody loves them, you can't lose. Or how about, how about a pair of earrings for the, for the girlfriend? Yeah, you wear them like that, everybody looks at you, everybody thinks you're lovely. Or you've got a lovely hat. If your football team plays in yellow, go along, support them like that. Everybody thinks you're charming. Or if you've got a nail biting problem, you see you just stick one of these on each hand like that, or one in your mouth, alternatively, it doesn't make any difference. And if you're sick and tired of the predictability of your boomerang coming back every time you throw it, easy, just chuck one of these. Guaranteed never to come back. You can look at it as long as you like, it will never return. Or toilet roll covers, lovely things, toilet roll covers. You just stick this over your toilet roll, lovely. Of course, you've got to take it off before you actually use the toilet roll, but then you knew that anyway, didn't you? Or you can make yourself a very nice, festive set of Christmas handkerchiefs. Everyone in the family would love them, of course they would. Or who could say no? Who could say no? You name me one person. Who could say no to a lovely set of covers for a lovely set of bowls? You know, those lovely bowls, they're very popular with many inmates, them, you know? And I'll tell you something, these, they come, they come in with a full set of instructions inside. They're fully guaranteed. They're waterproof, childproof, and totally use proof. Can I put you down for 10,000? Come on, face it, Matthew. You've been a silly Billy, haven't you? Mm. Well, not really, Sue. I mean, they're very attractive dishcloths, aren't they? Oh, I mean... but that's the whole point. They're not dishcloths. That man sold fridges to Eskimos. Mm. Now he sold a hundred knitted sooty puppets to you. What? How are we going to get rid of them? Well, I don't know. You said they'll never sell us dishcloths? No. Coffee filters? Nope. Toilet roll covers? No, definitely not. He lied to me. Oh, trust me to get involved with a man that sells fridges to Eskimos. Hey, just hang on. Just, just, just a minute. Look at this. Look, look, just a minute. If I put my hand inside this thing and, and wiggle it around a bit, it's almost real. Look at that. He can wave to you. <laughs> Yes, that looks ridiculous. Well, no, 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 but listen, listen. If I was to get very good at this, I could have another one on the other hand, and uh, I can make him pick things up, you know, just by using my hands sort of thing, you know, like that. Right, pick things up. Uh, see? Pretty good. And then possibly a man from a television company would come along and he would see me doing the act, the routine, and he would think I was very good and give me a television oh, series. don't be so stupid, Matthew. What? What? It would never catch on? No, I suppose you're right. Hang on, though. I could introduce some of what's called slapstick into my television program and, and this little fella over here he could uh, just leap across here leap 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 and he could pick something up like this watch see like a custard pie and without me knowing it he could sneak up when i wasn't looking and he could go hello boom, like that see that <laughs> was pathetic was it mm. not funny no just a minute this little fella's going what do we do do over he goes and <laughs> never could be funny not a <laughs> oh, i suppose you're right it was always a pretty hairbrain scheme. Mm. Anyway, it was my fault. I'd better collect this lot together and put it all in the dustbin. It's rubbish. Not so fast, Matthew. I've got an idea. Well, look at this. Sooty Sweep and Scampi arguing about the mobile phone. I expect you think that whilst they're doing that, I'm somewhere sulking about the fact that I bought all those useless things from that fridge salesman. Do you? Well, if you do, you're wrong. What? Oi! Come here, you lot. You think I bought a lot of junk from that fella, don't you? You think I don't know what to do with it, don't you? Well, you're wrong, because I do. With a little help from Sue and her sewing machine, allow me to present to you... Fun for fashion for the ultra cool. Well, as you all know, fun fur is the fashion statement of the moment. And what we have here is the ultimate fun fur coat with matching hats. It's warm, it's hard wearing, it'll turn heads and it'll certainly get a laugh at the bus stop. It gives a new meaning to bearing it all. This sooty ensemble is better than a hundred dishcloths. As a matter of fact, this sooty ensemble is a hundred dishcloths. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, from Matthew's Fashion Parade, bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.